John Marco and Andy Jay from Driven Chat and as you can see we have come to Lotus for something really exciting and really special in fact we've been given some very exclusive access today haven't we John with some very dear friends of ours um, if you're a regular listener to the podcast or the radio show you'll know that we are closely linked with both Lotus and the team behind Radford so Ant Hanstead and Jensen Button in particular and well Ant said come down and join us for a special moment do you want to do the big reveal John? Yeah, yeah, so we were at a classic car show with Ant Hampstead, did the typical thing, what are you up to next week? He said, oh, well, actually, on Wednesday, we're doing some uh, test driving in the new Radford at the Lotus test track at Hethel. Why don't you come along? The best thing is, it's going to be now. Can you hear that noise? That's, that's it. Oh, also, can you hear this noise? That's a Type 72 Formula One car. Just, just going behind you now. In fact, Here's just a little bit of what you're about to see. And what are we seeing? What's about to appear behind you? This. That is the Lotus Type 62.2, coach-built by Radford, moving wheels for the very, very first time ever. This is genuinely the shakedown. This is the realisation of shed loads of hard work, graft, years in the development, and it's your baby. Yeah, it's kind of mad, isn't it? Because this started out as a seed of an idea, uh, a total crazy idea to launch a supercar and you know bring a iconic coach building brand back to market uh, and it was a blank canvas for us so you know what was just an idea that a few people had over a few beers one evening has actually transpired into us standing here at Hethel at the Lotus test track the last time you know Lotus have ended petrol powered cars <laughs> And Jensen Button is out there now turning wheels for the first time. And I remember I said to him, listen, this is a shakedown. Let's take it easy. Yeah. He listened for the first three laps. Yeah, this is the problem. When you put a Formula One champion in the car, they don't listen. I mean, look at it moving. I mean, it's really great to see it moving. We've yeah. seen so many stills. We've seen it at exhibitions. We've seen it at Silverstone Classic and at Bremont and many other places. To see it actually moving, that's proper. Yeah, well, that's the point, isn't it? What's the point of building a car that doesn't do its primary function? Ant Anstead and Jensen Button offered Andy and me a behind-the-scenes all-access pass to witness the Radford Type 62.2 on track for the very first time. This was also a day where the staff at the Lotus factory in Hethel could get their very first look at the car, based, of course, on a Lotus Type 62. And all of this was being captured for a TV show. design but how does it make you feel seeing the car no it's fantastic the car we we were involved with some of the processes we we're involved with some of the reviews and things but mark and the guys have done a fabulous job with the car and i guess it fits with, with what we like but because we're all working from the same source material you know we're all working from those great cars in lotus history we've obviously gone a step further with the modern evaya and amira but this is, you know, obviously playing on one of the great classics, the Type 62, which, which I love. So beautifully done as well. Beautifully done. The surfaces in the car, very nice. This is a really privileged moment, actually. I, I said to John, when the car arrived and everyone was applauding, I just feel so thrilled. The kind of family feel, the pride from, of course, from the Radford lads, from Ant and Jensen, but from everyone at Lotus who've been so involved in this process. It's just, it's really special. It's I'm really genuinely special. like buzzing because it's just lovely. 
The amazing thing is, we were recording a podcast with Matt, the MD, who was like, oh no, look, we've got to run because we're about to launch the Radford in front of our staff. And we're like, oh, okay, and we're just here, part of it. It's amazing. It was a real pleasure to be part of it. You sort of felt the warmth as the car arrived and the joy and the pride. And I think that seeps down to everything Lotus are doing right now. It's, it's you can't fake this. No. Nope. This is lovely. No, nope. that's it. Yeah. It's amazing. Meanwhile, back at the track, the directors making the TV show realised they were a driver short for some of the filming sequences they needed. Right, so in a bizarre twist of events, uh, the guys doing the production team for the Radford TV show needed uh, an extra professional driver. It's going to be me. So uh, I've been set the task of driving a uh, Elise S1, an Exige, and an Evora might also be used as a camera car. It's turning into quite a bizarre day. Anyway, must, must go, got to drive professionally on track with a Formula One world champion. This is uh, John driving green Lotus Elise for the drone crew. Just entered the track now. I've been tasked with setting four laps in each car. This is the first. I wasn't expecting to do this today, so I'm pretty chuffed. Also, very shortly, I'm going to be driving on the same circuit as Jensen Button. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. As fast as I'm comfortable. Okay, copy that, thank you. This is Exige. Right. <laughs> Car number two of the uh, yeah. last minute challenge. So Rob, before I went out, the PR guy from Lotus said, try to keep the volume down. It's not proving to be the easiest thing to do, Rob, I'm sorry. Partly because I don't want to keep the noise down. Buzzing from the whole 
driving on track with Jensen Button. <laughs> he's going to be dining. He's going to be so difficult to live with.